Today we are going to learn about the intersection of a line and a circle. The National 5 essential skills are substitution, simultaneous equations and finding the discriminant. There are three possible scenarios for the intersection of a line and a circle. Two points of contact, one point of contact, therefore the line is a tangent, or no points of contact. We can identify if a line touches a circle by using the discriminant. The process is, we will substitute the straight line equation into the equation of a circle. Once we've done this, it will simplify to leave a quadratic. And you know if we have a quadratic, we can prove if there are two points, one point or no points of contact by using our discriminant. As a reminder, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, this means there are two points of contact. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, this means there is one point of contact as a tangent. Or if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, this means there is no contact at all. We can also identify the point of contact by factorising our quadratic. So again, we would start the same process by substituting the straight line into our circle's equation. And then to find the points of contact, we need to solve the quadratic, factorise and then solve it to get our x values. And once we've got our x values, we can sub these into our straight line in order to obtain the y values of contact. This will become much clearer when we go through two examples. Example 1. Show where the line y minus 2x equals 6 meets the circle x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So to find the point of intersection, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our straight line is in the form y equals or x equals. This is because we're going to substitute x or y in our circle equation for our straight line. So we do need to rearrange and we will rearrange to get y equals 2x plus 6 for our straight line. From there, we're going to substitute into our circle. So wherever we see a y, which is underlined, we will then replace it with 2x plus 6. That will give us x squared plus 2x plus 6 all squared plus 10x minus 2 times 2x plus 6 plus 1 equals 0. If you need to expand your brackets at the side of your page for your working and then bring your answer back in, feel free to do this. Once the brackets have been expanded, the answer we get is x squared plus 4x squared plus 24x plus 36 plus 10x minus 4x minus 12 plus 1 equals 0. This can then be simplified and it will become a quadratic. This will simplify to give 5x squared plus 30x plus 25 equals 0. From here, we can divide everything by 5, essentially taking out a common factor of 5. To get a quadratic, that is x squared plus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. This will then become easier to factorise because that's our next step to find our x coordinate um, of the points of contact. So factorising will give x plus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. Splitting that up, if x plus 5 equals 0, x must be minus 5 as a point of contact. And if x plus 1 equals 0, x equals to negative 1 as a point of contact. From there, we need to then find our y values. Now, you can sub the x coordinates into the circle equations if you wish, but I would suggest you use the straight lines, it'd be far easier. So, when x is minus 5, y equals um, negative 4. So, we plug our minus 5 into our straight line equation y minus 2 times minus 5 equals 6. So y plus 10 equals 6, which rearranges to give y is minus 4. So our first point of contact is negative 5, negative 4. When y, x sorry, is negative 1, we get y minus 2 times minus 1 equals 6. So y plus 2 is 6, therefore rearranging to give y is 4. Our second point of contact is negative 1, 4. Example 2. Show that the line 3x plus y equals minus 10 is a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y minus 20 equals 0. 
So again, the first thing we need to do is ensure our straight line is in the form 1y equals or 1x equals. So we're going to rearrange 3x plus y equals minus 10 to give y equals negative 3x plus minus 10. We will then substitute the straight line equation into the equation of the circle. So where we see y, this will be replaced with negative 3x minus 10 to give x squared plus negative 3x minus 10 all squared minus 8x plus 4 times minus 3x minus 10 take away 20 equals 0. From there, you can expand your brackets at the side of your page, bringing your answer back in to give this solution. x squared plus 9x squared plus 60x plus 100 minus 8x minus 12x minus 40 minus 20 equals 0. We will then simplify the expression, expression and remember it always becomes a quadratic. So 10x squared plus 40x plus 40 equals 0. And again, we can divide by 10 or take a common factor out of 10 to give x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. From there, we use our discriminant to prove that the line is a tangent. So if we look at our a, b and c values, a is 1, b is 4 and c is also 4. Right now, our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, and then plugging in our values, we get 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4, 16 minus 16, which gives an answer of 0. We need to then make sure we write a statement. So as b squared minus 4ac equals 0, there is one point of contact, meaning the line must be a tangent to the circle. Now try this question for yourself. Please pause the video. And the answer, the line and the circle meet at negative 2, 2 and negative 4, negative 2. So what have we learned today? Today we've learned how to find um, the intersection of a line and a circle. And to find where they meet, we use simultaneous equations, specifically the substitution method. We would factorise to find the points of contact, or we would use a discriminant to find if the line meets the circle. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, there is no points of contact. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, there is one point of contact, therefore the line must be a tangent. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, there are two points of contact.